The sun hangs high over a vast sea of gold. Sand stretches endlessly in every direction, rolling like ocean waves under the scorching heat. Wind sculpts the dunes, carving them into sharp peaks and valleys, while the horizon shimmers in mirages. This is the desert, unforgiving, relentless, a place where life struggles just to exist. And yet, something impossible has happened here. Amid the endless sand of China's largest desert, a green miracle rises. Waves of wheat sway gently in the wind, stretching across the dunes like a living carpet. It glows under the sun, surreal and almost dreamlike. The contrast is shocking. The harsh desert, once thought unyielding, now cradles life on an unimaginable scale. How did this happen? How did China grow wheat in one of the harshest environments on Earth? The answer lies at the intersection of human ingenuity, cutting-edge technology, and relentless determination. In this desert, science and perseverance have turned a centuries-old foe into fertile land. And the story of this transformation is nothing short of extraordinary. From here, we'll dive into the beliefs that made wheat in the desert seem impossible, and how those beliefs were shattered. For centuries, people have believed that wheat belongs to fertile valleys, rich soils, and predictable climates. It needs nutrients, water, and protection from extremes. Wheat in sandy soil? Impossible. Wheat in blistering heat, relentless drought, or freezing winters? Unthinkable. To most, the desert is the ultimate enemy of crops, a place where seeds would wither before they even sprout. And yet, here in the Taklamakan Desert, that impossible wheat is alive. It's thriving. Each stalk bending in the wind is a silent defiance of centuries of agricultural wisdom. How could a plant so seemingly delicate endure the harshest sandstorms, dry winds, and temperature swings? The secret isn't magic. It's human ingenuity. Chinese agronomists didn't just plant wheat. They engineered an environment in which it could survive. Through innovative science, clever irrigation strategies, and precise soil management, the impossible became reality. This isn't just wheat in the desert. It's a symbol of what happens when human curiosity meets bold experimentation. And this breakthrough sets the stage for something far larger, a technological revolution that reshapes the very way we think about farming in extreme conditions. In 2023, Chinese agronomists unveiled a game-changing innovation. Not a single tool, but a complete system, water and fertilizer management, combined with cultivation models specifically designed for desert conditions. It was a marriage of tradition and technology, crafted to challenge nature itself. The soil in the Taklimakan Desert is unforgiving. Nutrients are scarce. Water evaporates almost as soon as it touches the sand. Conventional farming would fail within days. Yet by treating the soil with organic matter, using sand fixation agents, and creating a precise irrigation network, scientists turned this arid land into a viable agricultural stage. Sensors monitored moisture. Mobile apps controlled the timing and quantity of fertilization. Even sandstorms could be anticipated and mitigated. Each wheat seed wasn't just planted, it was nurtured, guided, and protected like a tiny green soldier in an endless battlefield. The Taklamukan Desert became a living laboratory. Every furrow, every seed, every drop of water was carefully measured, adjusted, and perfected. And slowly, under this careful orchestration, the desert began to respond. What emerged was not just wheat, it was proof that human ingenuity, guided by science, could bend even the harshest environment toward life. Six months, half a year of relentless tests. The wheat faced what would have ended most crops blistering heat that scorched the sand, freezing nights that could snap fragile stems, and fierce sandstorms that erased the landscape in moments. Yet, slowly, stubbornly, green shoots began to appear. Against the backdrop of golden dunes, tender blades of wheat pierced the desert floor. They swayed in the wind, surviving where survival seemed impossible. Each stalk was a testament to careful planning, precise irrigation, and tireless human effort. 
By the time harvest season arrived, the transformation was, honestly, breathtaking. Vast waves of wheat stretched as far as the eye could see. Combine harvesters hummed across the dunes, gathering a bounty of 3,000 tons of high-quality wheat. Scientists and farmers watched with a mixture of awe and pride. A barren desert had been transformed into a dreamlike sea of green. This was more than a harvest. It was a triumph of human ingenuity over nature's harshest tests, a vivid proof that deserts, once considered eternal enemies, could be tamed. And yet it raises an essential question. If China has so much fertile land, why take on such a daring experiment in the desert? At first glance, it seems unnecessary. China already has vast stretches of fertile land. So why risk planting wheat in one of the harshest deserts on Earth? The answer goes far beyond food production. Growing wheat here transforms more than sand. It transforms ecosystems. Each blade of wheat captures carbon, enriches the soil, and helps store precious water. It stabilizes shifting dunes and increases biodiversity, giving life to plants, insects, and even animals that once had no home. There's also a strategic vision at play. Desert agriculture expands China's arable land without competing with fertile plains. It reduces pressure on existing farmlands, safeguards food security, and offers economic opportunities for local communities. And in a broader sense, this is a blueprint for sustainable development. It's about showing the world that barren land can be productive, that deserts are not the end of life. They are a new beginning if approached with knowledge, technology, and ambition. This bold experiment isn't just about wheat, it's about rewriting the possibilities of agriculture itself. China's journey with deserts didn't start yesterday. It's been decades in the making. For nearly 70 years, the nation has battled desertification, transforming barren lands into thriving ecosystems through relentless effort and innovation. From the earliest days of grid sand control, where every square meter of desert was meticulously stabilized, to modern photovoltaic sand fixing technology that harnesses solar power while stopping sand from spreading, each step has been a battle against nature itself. Millions of people have contributed, planting vegetation, building barriers, and experimenting with soil treatments. The results are staggering. Over 20.33 million hectares have been transformed. Where once sand advanced and people retreated, green fields now flourish and the desert has receded. These achievements are more than numbers. They are a testament to persistence, coordination, and ingenuity on a massive scale. It's this foundation, built over decades, that made desert wheat farming possible. Without years of trial, error, and technological progress, planting crops in a place like the Taklamakan Desert would, honestly, remain a fantasy. Now, let's zoom in on Megadi County, a land that seems designed to defy life itself. Surrounded by sand on three sides, 90% of this county is desert. Light saline alkali soil dominates the landscape, and patches of heavy saline alkali land stretch as far as the eye can see. Planting wheat here sounds like a fairy tale, or honestly, a dare. And yet, in just six months, this fairy tale became reality. Agronomists called it controlling sand and returning to farming, a process that blends precision science with sheer determination. Every action mattered, planning at the right moment, adjusting to unpredictable winds, and ensuring that fragile seedlings could take root in shifting sands. Magadi County is not just a location, it's a proving ground. It's a place where decades of desert control, years of scientific experimentation, and countless human hours intersect to create a miracle. Here, we witness what happens when ambition meets extreme conditions and the impossible begins to take shape. Before a single seed could touch the sand, the desert itself had to be tamed. Agronomists spent weeks meticulously flattening the dunes, transforming a jagged, uneven landscape into a smooth, level expanse. The height difference of the sand was reduced to no more than five centimeters, a tiny margin, but a critical one for wheat to take root. Timing was everything. 
In the Taklamakan Desert, a delay of even a day could erase months of work. Sandstorms could return the land to its original state overnight. Planting had to happen immediately after the surface was prepared, each action choreographed with precision. The labor was immense, and honestly, the stakes were high. Every tractor pass, every smoothing effort, every measurement mattered. This was more than soil preparation. It was an act of defiance against one of the harshest environments on Earth. Through this painstaking groundwork, the stage was set. The desert, once untouchable, was ready to receive life. Traditional farming methods simply couldn't survive here. Desert soil is nutrient poor. Water evaporates almost as soon as it touches the sand. And without structure, the soil cannot hold fertilizer or moisture. In a place like this, ordinary wheat would perish in days. Chinese agronomists had to rethink every step. They enriched the soil with organic matter and used sand fixation agents to stabilize the surface. Water and fertilizer were integrated, timed with precision, and even controlled through mobile apps. Spraying antibacterial agents protected young plants from disease, while careful layering of nutrients ensured seedlings could grow roots deep enough to survive the harsh environment. The results were, honestly, remarkable. Water usage dropped by 35%, fertilizer by 30%, yet the wheat thrived. Each stalk wasn't just growing, it was flourishing under conditions that once seemed impossible. Technology and science had created a desert-friendly ecosystem where wheat could take root and flourish. In October 2023, more than 6,000 acres of winter wheat were sown into the desert soil, a vast experiment unfolding under the unforgiving sky. But planting was only the beginning. Each field became a living laboratory where, honestly, every detail was tracked, measured, and analyzed. Agronomists visited the wheat fields regularly, checking soil moisture, recording growth patterns, and adjusting irrigation and fertilization strategies as needed. Sensors captured real-time data, guiding precise interventions to ensure every seedling had the best chance to survive. Mobile apps controlled timed, quantitative fertilization, reducing human error while maximizing efficiency. The process was relentless. Every storm, every hot wind, every dry spell became a test of the system's resilience. Yet with careful monitoring and constant adaptation, the desert slowly transformed. Green shoots emerged, steady and confident, signaling that science and patience were, in fact, winning the battle. This wasn't just planting wheat, it was proving a replicable model for desert agriculture that could one day be applied worldwide. After months of relentless monitoring, the moment of truth arrived. Harvest time. The wheat had survived germination, wintering, sandstorms, scorching heat, and drought. Against all odds, it was ready. The results were, honestly, astonishing. The bulk density of the wheat reached 825 grams per liter, meeting first-grade standards. Each mew produced over 260 kilograms of high-quality grain. Combined harvesters hummed across the fields, collecting a bounty that seemed almost unreal in the heart of the desert. For the agronomists and farmers, it was more than numbers. It was proof that human ingenuity, careful planning, and innovative technology could turn the impossible into reality. The desert, once untouchable, had yielded life and abundance. This success was not just a local triumph. It became a blueprint for future desert agriculture, showing that barren lands could be transformed, ecosystems restored, and food security strengthened. The success in Maigeti County is just the beginning. Chinese agronomists are already planning to scale up, aiming to increase wheat yields to 400 kilograms per mu and expand desert wheat fields to 50,000 mu within the next five years. The implications extend far beyond China. Take Saudi Arabia, for example. Vast deserts cover more than 860,000 square kilometers, with extreme heat and minimal rainfall. Traditional farming struggles there, and desertification threatens livelihoods. China's desert wheat technology offers a potential lifeline,
stabilizing sand dunes, improving soil fertility, and creating a sustainable agricultural ecosystem. Globally, deserts cover more than a third of Earth's land surface. If this approach can be adapted elsewhere, it could really revolutionize food production, alleviate shortages, and boost economies in some of the world's most inhospitable regions. Imagine barren sands turning into thriving fields, green waves sweeping across deserts once thought lifeless. This is more than agriculture, it's environmental restoration, economic opportunity, and a blueprint for sustainable living in extreme climates. Humanity may finally have a tool to reclaim deserts and feed the future. From endless, unforgiving dunes to waves of golden wheat, this journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. What seemed impossible, a thriving wheat field in one of the harshest deserts on Earth, has become reality through human ingenuity, innovation, and relentless determination. This is more than a story about wheat. It's a story about rewriting the rules of agriculture, restoring ecosystems, and creating new possibilities for communities living on the edge of deserts. It's a blueprint for the world, a testament that with vision, technology, and perseverance, no land is truly barren, and no challenge insurmountable. If you've been inspired by this incredible transformation, don't miss what comes next. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to follow more stories where science meets ambition, where impossible dreams become reality, and where the future of our planet is being reshaped, one desert at a time. The desert may be vast, harsh, and relentless. But as China has shown, with courage and creativity, even the most barren land can bloom.